Hey everybody, it's Robin and welcome to the Robin's Nest. Today on my channel, I'm going to be making another beautiful stained glass cake for you guys, except this one is going to have lots of dragonflies. Now, you guys enjoyed my last one so much and I had so much fun making them for you. I just couldn't wait for the opportunity to make another one. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Now let's get into it. For today's cake, I baked up three 8 inch chocolate cake layers. Now, these have a little bit of a dome on them, so we're going to trim these down and make them nice and level for when we stack and fill our layers. And now we're going to fill these layers with some yummy chocolate buttercream. So I'm just going to attach my cake to my cake board first. And we're just going to apply a little bit of buttercream here. And there we go. Now, because we're gonna be using white fondant to cover our cake, I'm gonna use some white buttercream for our crumb coat, just so we can make sure none of this chocolate shows through. And I'm just gonna apply it using my offset spatula, and then I'm gonna be using my brand new favorite tool, this plastic smoother that I got in the same set as my turntable. And you can find a link to that in the description box below. And there we go, nice and smooth. So now we're gonna pop this in the fridge to chill just long enough to crust over, so about 10 or 15 minutes. And in the meantime, I just wanna say I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and some love in the comment section too. All right guys, now once your cake is chill, it's time to give it a nice white fondant canvas for us to paint on. So I'm gonna roll out some white fondant and we are gonna get our cake covered and I'm gonna use my hands and some fondant smoothers to smooth it all out. There, I think that looks really good. Now, while our fondant is still a little bit soft, I'm gonna take these stencils that I drew up and I'm gonna use them to mark off the design that I'm gonna paint all around the cake. All right, so I finished tracing my stencil onto the side of my cake and I can see what I wanna paint now. So I'm going to use some gel food color and just some water and a watercolor paintbrush and we're gonna paint our design all over the cake. And there you have it, our cake is fully painted and I think it looks great, what do you guys think? All I have left to do is our black outline. So I mixed up a little bit of black royal icing and I put it in a piping bag with a very, very small hole cut in the tip. Now I'm just gonna finish this up and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Thank you. 
Ta-da! Here it is, guys, my beautiful stained glass dragonfly cake, and I love it. I think it turned out better than the last one. What do you guys think? Well, I really hope you guys liked the video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that big thumbs up and leave me some love in that comment section too. And if you haven't done so already and you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you receive a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.